It's using your own body's plasma, your own plasma, to regrow your hair. So today we're gonna talk about one of the leading cosmetic treatments for hair loss and hair regrowth out here today. I mean, it's like the gold standard right now and a lot of hair loss practitioners, dermatologists, hair care professionals, whoever, you name it, they are swearing by this particular treatment and drum roll, it's called platelet rich plasma for hair loss or PRP. Now PRP is known for doing a lot of things for a lot of different conditions. It's a treatment for for a lot of different things, but specific to hair loss is what I'm talking about PRP for today. So let's talk about what PRP is, okay? PRP stands for Platelet Rich Plasma. Um, it's a natural treatment, basically, and there are some studies that shows that it is known to thicken your hair by 30 or 40 percent. There are a lot of studies. There's a lot of research behind the effectiveness, the efficacy of PRP, okay? But basically, it's using your own body's plasma, your own plasma, to regrow your hair, and um, we're going to talk about what it exactly it is, how it looks, the benefits, and who qualifies. Everyone doesn't qualify for everything, and how much it costs because one thing I will say is that PRP ain't free and it ain't cheap, okay? It does work and it is extremely effective for people who are experiencing thinning um, to thicken and densen their hair. But of course, you're gonna have to run that, you're gonna have to run that bag. You're gonna have to <laughs> ration it in your budget. You're gonna have to save some coins, okay? It is not gonna be free. So looking at my notes without reading everything, basically PRP is when they take a blood sample, small amount of blood from you, and then they isolate the plasma. They then, once they spin it in a spinner and they isolate that plasma, they re-inject it back into the hair follicle um, so that it can stimulate hair growth. So how is that, how does that work, right? Like what's the, the mechanism of action. You're going to hear that word a lot on this channel or the science behind it. So plasma is used for hair growth because it contains growth factors, which can stimulate the cells in the hair follicles to promote new hair growth. Um, it increases blood flow to the hair follicles. And then of course, it's a concentrated amount of growth factors that is re-injected back into the scalp, which is gonna improve thickness and density. And so who qualifies for PRP? Qualify for PRP for the most part if you're experiencing thinning, if you have androgenetic alopecia and other non-scarring forms of alopecia. Um, I talked about it before, scarring and non-scarring alopecia. Alopecia can be broken down into two groups. Let me step back and say alopecia is hair loss. Whether it's mild, moderate, or severe, whether it's transient, meaning it's like postpartum hair loss, meaning you're only losing it right now because you just gave birth to a baby and all the hormonal changes the hormonal dips and the stress to your body is only temporarily contributing to this and it can and will grow back depending on what you do and how you sustain it hey baddies it's your girl bevy and i'm interrupting you really quickly because i have to ask this very important question why am i not at 100k subscribers yet let's keep it a buck i'm giving you real content i'm dropping game for free and i have loads of comments okay loads of comments from my baddies saying that my content has helped them on their path to hair regrowth, okay? Effective hair regrowth. So please, okay, help a sister out. Start liking, okay, liking these videos to help me in the algorithm. Subscribe to this channel. Share this content with your friends that may or may not be honest about whether or not they need my help, okay? And most importantly, I'm dropping a hair growth serum very, very soon. Please click the link down in the description box, okay? And leave your information so that you can be the first to know. I'm about to turn the hair loss treatment, okay, space upside down on its head because the gatekeepers don't look like me and I'm about to fix that, okay? I'm looking out for your interests. I'm really helping you because I really care. This is my mission and I need your support. So that's all I had to say, okay? Continue on. It is for any and everyone who basically, that's that's what non-scarring is. That's alopecia is whether it's transient or whether it, it's full term, right? It's not, if you have alopecia, it means that you have alopecia totalis or universalis, what most people see. It just means that you're experiencing hair loss. It is the scientific term for hair loss, okay? But let's go back to hair loss. So if you have non-scarring, that means, like I said before, it can grow back. Your follicles are thriving, it's living, and it's gonna come back to life. Scarring, unfortunately, 
unfortunately means that over time, due to insert the name of the problem, whether it's hormonal hair loss, whether it's due to, you know, nutrient deficiency, autoimmune disorders, whether it's over manipulation of the hair, stress to the follicles, damage, chemical damage to the follicles, whatever the reason for your hair loss, whatever the reason, okay, it unfortunately over time can lead to scarring of the hair follicles, which is AKA death of the hair follicles and permanent baldness. It just, it's different for different strokes for different folks. Some people, the follicles are still okay, even though they're experiencing hair loss and in other people, it, they can be more genetically predisposed to um, scarring alopecias um, like CCCA, which you'll see at the top of the crown. And um, some traction alopecias can be, meaning, you know, some can be scarring, some can be non-scarring. Meaning if you're losing your edges because the baby snatched the edges, <laughs> that's non-scarring. But some scarring is, it can literally mean that you're going bald on your edges because of over manipulation, because of genetic predispositions, because of all the things I've mentioned before and more that I haven't even mentioned. So I just want to quickly describe the difference. So PRP is for you if you have non-scarring alopecia. How do I know if I have non-scarring alopecia or scarring alopecia? Well, I'm glad you asked. Click the link below in the description box to find out what type of hair loss you have and if PRP is right for you. Other than that, if you're pretty healthy, meaning you, your blood is good, you're straight, you're straight. If you're, you're you're living a pretty decent lifestyle, you know that you have good nutrients, you're taking good macronutrients. Listen, the healthier you are, the stronger your growth factors, the stronger the collagen in your growth factors, the stronger all, all the, the things in your growth factors is gonna work for you to help you thicken your hair through PRP, okay? Now, who doesn't qualify? Like I said, if you're not healthy, so if you have blood disorders, you're not gonna be suitable for if you get skin infections easy or you have skin diseases, then it may not be for you. Obviously, it's important to consult with the medical provider to see if you qualify for PRP, as I mentioned before. And if you don't have a hair loss person or a dermatologist that specializes in hair growth and hair loss, especially in skin and hair of color, you know, skin and hair of color keloids a lot more than others, then you can click in the link down. Click, click, click. Click the link down below for more information on whether or not you qualify for PRP. So how much does it cost is like the million dollar question, right? How much does PRP cost? Well, it ranges anywhere between 500 to $2,000. If you got a hookup, you could get it closer to 500. And if you don't, girl, you're gonna be paying, or, or guy, you will be paying $2,000 per session and you're gonna need more than one session, okay? Now, yes, can you start to see results within one session? Absolutely, but you're gonna need multiple sessions, most, mo multiple treatments to really see, um, really see some great results. And like I said, how many sessions do you need? That is situational. That is respective of your type of hair loss, what you're going through, your health, all that other stuff. So it is situational based on the person, on the individual. I can't tell you whether you need three or six, okay? All I can say is click the link down below in the description box find out for yourself what type of hair loss you may or may not be dealing with and then find out if you qualify for prp if you have the coin and it's worth it to you to be the best you then go for it petunia go for it baddie because why not feel like you're the best you that you can be until i can start offering prp at a extreme discounted rate for my hair script subscribers you know all i can do is just say click the link down below and we'll hook you up all right so other than that if you have any questions Questions. I'm back y'all. I'm sorry. I went on a hiatus. I should have a video on this channel somewhere Comment down below ask your questions ask away and I'm here. I got you. I'm, I'm, I got you. I got you. All right, we're back Let's get our hair the way we want it to be Bye